Hey guys, it's me, Meteor, and welcome to another edition of What is Kirby Cannon? Today, we're talking about sentient machines. Admittedly, while we have probably fought more machines in the Kirby series than we have dark creatures, many of these machines were either piloted, have almost no lore, outside of working for DDD and being female anyway, or lack any real sentience. Which begs the question, in terms of the Kirby universe, what is sentience? To get a better idea, let's start by looking at Star Dream's example. In his first phase pause description, it states it became self-aware after fusing with Haltman. However, one of its first quotes states it had studied all forms of life through his organic body, showing its knowledge grew even before then. Finally, as stated in Miiverse, by comparing the difference between Star Dream and Kirby's Robobot, we can see these machines can even be moved by emotion as well. As you can tell, these machines by default have no real sentience, knowledge, or emotion. It isn't until someone uses them, and influences them, that they do so. Compare that to Void Termina's Phase 2 description, which states, Born from the total absence of care, he has awakened from a state of mere existence to that of true sentience. That sure sounds awfully similar. Could that just be a coincidence? Maybe. Then again, maybe not. If you think about it, pretty much all the sentient machines were created by the ancients. Star Dream, Nova, the lower Star Cutter, and likely Hooplagoon as well. The last one may be surprising to some, but according to its figurine, Klaatia sculpted him using ancient blueprints, just like the ones Haltman followed in Planet Robobot. Regardless, as shown in Void's Phase 2 description, these ancients were at the very least inspired by observing Void to write his mysteries and sacred texts. Being inspired to replicate his power in their own inventions doesn't seem that unlikely. In fact, Looking at the essence left behind after Nova exploded in Superstar Ultra, synthetic or not, its physical properties alone match those of Voids almost perfectly, its capabilities of power even more so. If the Ancients really did try to mimic Void's power to create their artifacts and machines, considering Void was eventually sealed away along with those who sealed him, it makes you wonder if that decision was what brought about their downfall in the first place. This would also mean that when Haltman used their blueprints and technology to construct or rebuild Star Dream, he was essentially making a copy of a copy, driving home the point of just how imperfect or incomplete it really was. Likewise, anything it would create or modify would be as well. As we have learned, this led to some disastrous results, not just for Haltman, but for any planet unfortunate enough to cross its path, being mechanized well beyond repair. Some refer to egg engines as one of these places, considering how similar the machines are to the ones aboard the Access Arc, especially Security Force. However, the Miiverse post states he may have traveled to Halkandra to obtain the technology in the first place. It's possible the original Metal General, similar to Landia, could have been created to protect that area as well, chasing Haltman away before he could do much harm. In fact, the game even refers to HRD-3 as an ancient war machine. Sadly, not every planet was as fortunate. Shiverstar could very well be an example of what happens to a planet after the Haltman Works Company successfully takes all its valuable resources. Forced into a nuclear winter overrun by another imperfect, mindless machine known as HRH. Even defeated years later, the damage has already been done. It does make you wonder though, why Haltman never mechanized Rockstar. As stated, the Hollow Defense Happy is based on a blueprint found on another planet, clearly referring to Pix, and let's face it, ancient tech or not, that thing is hardly threatening. Eh, who knows. Anyway, with that, we've talked about everything we needed to about sentient machines. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.